hate it or love it, Bakugo stands are on top, and I couldn't be happier. Bakugo wasn't the first, and he certainly won't be the last. That's a fan favorite that used to be a in the past. Narratively, he has one of the most fulfilling story arcs. It's not a very unique one, but it's something we've all experienced. Jealousy and acceptance. Bakugo's exterior is just a mask for one of the most insecure characters of all time. Because Deku, the definition of a boy scout, one-ups me at everything, who wouldn't be a little salty? And who's acknowledged by our childhood hero, All Might? Deku, not me. However, as Bakugo saw his heroism time and time again, he begins to realize Deku Deku was always like this, and after years of rejecting his actions, he finally affirms them when he sacrifices himself. Bakugo still feels responsible for the Kamino incident, but after Bakugo saves All Might, he gives him his gauntlet as a splint and refers to Bakugo by his hero name. I have never experienced anything else within this medium that makes this work, that gets this flowing more than this arc. Because he's finally acknowledged by the hero that inspired him to become a hero, completing his story arc. By the way, he's the best rival in Shonen Jump history by... 